Okay, grades nines here. Um, got an example of basic algebra. We need to be able to do it with concrete diagrams as well as also using the numeric version. Concrete diagrams involve things called algetiles, which are these up in here. I'm going to use these to demonstrate this example using the picture, and I'll demonstrate this one with the numbers. First off with the picture, we're dealing with x values, not x squareds. So in which case, I'm going to bring down two of these. So I have my 2x right there. This is a positive 3 right here. Again, I think I can demonstrate that with this. So you understand, again, I'm using that plus sign there. really applies to the positive, in which case positive. In this case, we are going to use the white squares. So I'll put three of those down here. The opposite in this case, I would use red as negative. I'm using the white as the positive today. And we're going to put then 11 over here as well. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. And we have another six coming here. You can see this is kind of a large one. It takes a little bit more time to do these ones. But again, algebra tiles are not comfortable for all students. So if you do like the concrete version, though, we can get your hands on these things if you'd like to. All right, moving on with the solving. In order to move first, I'm going to get rid of all the constant numbers. I'm going to leave the coefficient in its variable over here, get rid of this. So in order to get rid of a positive 3, I would have to use the opposite of that to get those to cancel or neutralize out. So I'm going to apply a negative 3 to that side of the question, okay? Because this is an equal sign, it's like a balance. Whatever I do to one side, I must do it to the other side. So in which case now I'm going to apply the three reds over here as well to neutralize those. With those neutralized, basically now what I've done is I've left myself with this many over here. So now with that first stage done, I can move all of these guys down. Let's see if I can highlight the whole works here. There we go. Okay, I'll move them down here and this one. Okay, it leaves me with that. And of course, what was left right here too, if I was to draw the line through here so you can see one step at a time, that was the first step. The second step then would be to move this down. So I have that down there. I'm now with 2x equals, at this point in time, we have 8 left over here. So 2x is equal to 8. Well, I have to be able to get that down to a single x. I'm going to divide by 2. So in which case, to divide by 2, I would put that in here by showing the division symbol. And I'm going to divide by 2, which is going to cut it into two separate groups. Let's extend this page a little bit further. And you'll see what I'm referring to now. What's going to happen is I'm going to take infinite corner here. I'll take one of these. It'll take that one. And it'll take that one. But it'll put them into two separate groups. So these two got broken up now because I'm dividing by 2. That's where that's coming from. So I'm just going to delete that out of there now. And now as a result, it breaks this into two even groups. So one, two, three, four go with that group. And one, two, three, and four go with this group. So I have x is equal to four. I've determined x by itself is equal to four. So in which case my final answer is this guy right here. So I'm going to make this work. Okay, x is equal to 4 in this case. That is where that is coming from. All right, back over to the other side. If I was to show it using the numeric form this time, we'll do it in green. What you're going to see is exactly what I had done on the other side. I apply a negative 3. That causes that to cancel. I apply the negative 3. That leaves me with 8 left over. And over here, it leaves me with the 2x. To get the x by itself, I would have to divide by 2 to get rid of that coefficient. So I divide by 2 to get rid of that coefficient, and x is equal to 4. In which case, you can see that I have done this now with two formats. So I have the algebra format, and I also have the numeric format this time. And that right there defines exactly how concrete algebra continues to work. That doesn't want to work for me here. Let's let me try that again. Okay, and we'll see if we can make that work. No, still not going to work for me. X is equal to 4. X is equal to 4. That's what I'm trying to get at there. 